My name's Tom Bennett. I'm the mayor of Southern Shores. We had lost significant frontal dune on about 2,500 feet or so of our southernmost beach. After considerable negotiations and discussions, a project manager working through the county, of course, was able to lock in a price for us of about a million dollars. We think it's going to be close to that, maybe slightly under. The county has agreed to pay 50% of the cost of the project or $500,000, whichever is the greater. The southern shores portion is going to be starting late June, early July. Uh, the subline location, uh, that's where the dredge actually connects to the pump out station, is going to be south of the Kitty Hawk here. They'll go ahead and work north between the pier and the end of the taper, that's about 2,500 feet. So you have that shore pipeline on that section of the beach um, until they get to the end, and then once they've completed the taper, they'll go ahead and turn around and move that shore pipeline farther to the south. So there's an active construction area. That's where they're going to have their bulldozers. That's where the material is going to be pumped out. And so when they're doing that, the active construction area is about 750 feet to 1,000 feet. And so that whole area will be closed off to the public. And the nice thing about the Southern Shores portion, it looks like the whole project is going to be seven days. And so when you figure that the active construction area is 1,000 feet, you know, hopefully that, that impact to each homeowner will be less than that. When we talk about the width, there's a design template, that's the minimum protection we want to provide, and then we have our construction template. And so the construction template's a lot larger than the design template, and that's specifically because of two things. One, we know the profile is going to equilibrate. So we want the sand to move offshore. We want to build that sandbar. With a sandbar there, you have that wave reduction because your wave is breaking farther offshore, and so by the time it gets to shore, it's a lot smaller. When the project's done, we do encourage the installation of sand fencing and uh, sprigging or dune planting. What that really does, it keeps the sand or minimizes that windblown sand that we've seen in other areas. The residents of this part of the beach also have agreed to help with the cost of the project and they're, they're paying 30% of the town's cost, our cost being around 500,000. These residents, 25 or 27 homeowners properties will, will be paying $150,000 of that cost. It made us feel better about moving ahead with the project and have that kind of support from the residents who live here. I think it's very important that we have that. And it, and it also was a positive for other residents of the town to see that the people who are benefiting are also going to be contributing. 